I'm just going to show you how to do a PSD, a patient specific directive. So we're going to open up a consultation as an admin note. As the problem item, I would write PSD and it would say that. Double click that. And then you've got options here. So any entries on that patient that have happened before would come under here. So it's a review. In the history, you would write whatever drug it is that you're doing. For example, I've set these up in advance. So if I write B12 hashtag, that is what you would need to write for a patient specific directive. And these cover any drugs that are injection form that a nurse is giving that are not covered by a group directive. And group directives are immunizations. So a nurse can give, for example, um, the eight week immunizations to a baby without this because it's done a group directive as all children at that age would have it. But for example, B12 would be specific to patients and then you need a PSD. So you'd have that um, written in the thing and then you would save it. And then the nurses would know it's valid because in, in problems there would be an active PSD um, here. After the 12 months, so in February 2022, that would go down to past problems so they would know that they need to get that PSD reauthorised. You need to do it for anything that's injectable, that's not given to groups. So the most common things are B12, um, you've got your prostate drugs, so your Zolodexes, um, you've got your contraceptives, so depots, um, cyanopresses, um, testosterone injections. Um, some of the, uh, if you're doing psychiatric medications, you would need a PSD. Um, I'm trying to think what the most common ones are. That kind of covers the, the most obvious ones. Um, but if you think a, pa a nurse is giving an injection of something that's not covered by a group directive, they need one of these.